Hey guys, welcome back to Release the Crafting. Priscilla here with a little flip through and promo, I guess, for the uh, Season of the Witch journal, little envelope journal that I made for the challenge that I had on my channel and all the things. I will link the challenge to the end of this video so you can check that out if you haven't already. It was a challenge we did in September. I um, finished the book and so I'm going to share it with you guys now. Um, and just FYI, I do not know at the time of this recording if it is available. If this book is still available, I'll leave that in the title so you'll know. Um, I usually put my books up for first dibs and first grabs in my Patreon for my Patreon members. Um, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> They're going to get to uh, see it first and if they pick it up then it'll say sold and if they didn't pick it up then it'll say available and that's how you'll know um i have this book and then i still have one more book left in my etsy shop so if you're looking for a, a little witchy book i have a little witchy book in my etsy shop still so definitely check that out um and as per usual if this book is available <laughs> by the time that you are watching this this is such a weird way to introduce this but i don't know the better way to do it but if the book is available then you can purchase it directly through me um at a lesser price than it will be when i do add it to my etsy which i will add it to my etsy in a couple of days if nobody claims it um but it'll be at a higher rate to cover the etsy fees because that's how it works etsy takes a lot of money for sales so we just have to deal with that sort of situation um so I will leave the, the contact info for myself is in the description box. If this book is available, if you would like to pick it up for purchase, just reach out to me. You'll get it at a discounted rate. Um, and then, like I said, if you want to wait until it shows up on Etsy, just be aware it's going to be at a higher price once it does get to Etsy. So at any rate, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, uh, so yeah, <laughs> we finished it, right? I did the tutorial. I will do another tutorial on how to put together an envelope journal because you guys did ask me for that and I absolutely do not mind. I'm very excited to share it with you. I will be working on that shortly after I film this so it'll be pretty soon here coming up. Um, of course we're in the middle of November so a lot of stuff has to happen first but it will definitely be on the way so don't worry. I did not forget you guys who asked me for a full form video uh, tutorial on how to put one together. But this is just the um, collection of all the, my makes for uh, this season of the Witch Challenge. And this cute, really cute little journal that I think is going to be really fun to like have because you're going to get to put all sorts of fun witchy things in here or just, you know, fun like witchy memories or regular memories. They don't have to be particularly witchy. But it comes with a sorry silk closure. I wanted to keep it simple because the rest of this book is very like in depth and I don't want the closure to like sort of pull away from that. But here we have the cover which is also made of envelopes. Every page in this is made of envelopes and I love how this came out. It has these cute little bookends on it. And then I used some tarot fabric for the spine. And it's really cute. And there's a bunch of little lace here. I love the moss in the background. And then we have this like embossed up piece that has the same embossing uh, color and like patterns that I used on the inside of the book. So it all goes really well together. Then I have this like little witchy like photo. This is like a little piece of ephemera that came in a witchy box that I've been holding on to. And it just worked out so perfectly here. I love the vibes. It has that sort of autumnal witchy season feel so I think it works even though the rest of my book is not autumnal themed I think it works for for what we have going on here and then from the front here we just have a little dangling pentacle like charm for just like a little bit of fun interactive movement and then I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but this uh like black netting like ribbon actually has like some glitter on it so it's extra sparkly and shiny which makes it just really extra fun and then it just opens up i left this part blank so you can add like you know a book play or your name or whatever you want to add here and then we have the first day of the season of the witch challenge that prompt was moon so of course we did this really fun um like inky uh like moon at night photo where you're looking up like through the like the grass and you're getting the whole vibes if you want to see like the full detail breakdowns on each of the pages and like see the process for how we got there there's a whole playlist for it which i said I'll, I'll link it at the end of the video so you can check that out and see everything and how we got here but the front of this has some embossing on the moon it's the same color like i said on the front plate so i use this color throughout the whole book to give it some cohesiveness and then this is actually a little window like pocket so we have this like beautiful witch hanging in here and this is our main character for the story that I was like sort of uh, coming up with as I was creating. And then there is a great like foresty background here and then we have this large tag 
with our collage little witch up front there's some stamping some more embossing some of my like handmade alcohol inked up like old cello tape and then um it's just backed with some regular dyed paper so that you can journal on here or add in like another photo like i said i had more of the the memory keeping in mind when i was making this so you could put like photos in and like maybe write some little blurbs about stuff or uh, you know put your favorite spells or something in there but you could definitely journal in this too it's just not made specifically for journaling because there's not a lot of pages to journal on it's entirely made out of envelopes and then we have day two and here we have uh, these little witches in these like faux soldered little frames uh, with some hand-drawn spiderwebs back in here to show how they're all connected. And uh, I wanted these witches to sort of represent her ancestors, so that's what I was thinking here. It's like a little gallery wall of ancestors. And then inside here is a little journaling card that has a little bit of verse. Um, because I believe the prompt for day two was spell. I do not have the list of prompts in front of my brain right now. So in front of my eyes, not my brain. Oh my God, words are really hard. <laughs> but it has a little, a little poem here to sort of represent that. And it's in this great like little crinkly paper. So there's like a lot to go off of here. And that just tucks back in here. And it says the summoning. And then on the back here, we have this like foiled image. You can kind of see me right there. That's me. Uh, <laughs> and we have this like great snake uh, sort of continuing with the pattern in the background and then we have some embossing here and then there is a top loading pocket and we have yeah I think yeah definitely the prompt was spell and we have this sort of mystical seashell magic happening here and then just some more dyed paper back here this one's like from my colorful grunge collection um, Sorry, all my stuff is always falling into my frame and I'm just not professional, but I'm professional. Um, but if you're looking for this pattern of paper, it's actually in my Etsy store as the colorful grunge uh, paper pack. So I did scan these up here before I started cutting them up. So I just think they're really fun and they add a lot of like interesting texture and grunge and colors that like you wouldn't necessarily, um, I'll deal with that later, uh, <laughs> associate uh, with grunge. So like, yeah, that was just a fun little little dyeing experiment. And then here, I don't remember what the prompt was. I'm just going to continue moving on. <laughs> uh, we have these little specimen like pockets that are holding these little tiny tags. So you can do some little journaling in here, or you could add a little spell or a recipe in there. I think it was potion. I think so, because we have a healing potion and a glamour potion. I believe that's what my vibe here was. We have these really great little textured stickers for these little bottles, some vellum flowers in the background, and these little like aesthetic style photos to represent the magics that we're working with. And then on the back here, we have these like creepy little girls. They're all masked up and this little collage here. And then this is like a swing tab. So this swings open and then you can flip this down and it has hexes and spells with this like cool, like weirdly rustic-y like little altar setup. And then I just did some stamping down here. So there's some little potion bottles and then you can journal on this spot here. Or, like I said, add another photo. And yeah, this is not a pocket. I could not remember if it was a pocket. And then here, um, I think this was enchantment. Don't quote me on these because I really don't remember. I, like I should have grabbed the, the prompt list before I started recording. And here we have this little like collage and it is actually a window collage because on the back here we have this like spooky sort of summon spirit in this little like portal backdrop collaged little tag situation with one of my little witchcraft words. These are um, up on my Patreon. I do not know what I will add them to my shop. I meant to add them, but I have been busy so. They'll get there eventually. <laughs> and then we have some dyed paper with some stamping on it. And then this is the back of that collage. So you can see there is like some moon imagery, some flowers, and just some paper texture here. And you can see this window page is so cool because you can see the next page on the other side. And I even like just being able to, to pop this back here and making it look more like a solid page to just sort of add to the illusion. And then it's got this really great um, like little bit of lyrics from a song. Um, that I thought were very witchy and very appropriate for, for what we had going on. Plus this is like a little white witch, like a uh, moth situation. There's lots of stuff happening. There's also this little witchy, little charm on the bottom of our witch. And then this just tucks back into the paper clip here. And then on this page we have our decor, I think. And we have this like cloche uh, bell jar. I forget what they're called. I th one or the other, or maybe both. 
I don't remember. <laughs> we have our little display, little terrarium of previous familiars from the days gone by. And we have this little bat. And then this, it's like super heavily embossed Triceratops symbol here and a little magic in the night. And then on this side, we have some hanging ornaments with some more homages to previous familiars. It says, oh, you can't see it. It says, which is familiar up here. And another little witchy word. And then we have a tag in this side loading pocket. It has like this really great like crystal paper in the background. This really nice like journaling spot here. And then on the back is some like really crispy, really like nice and dark grungy uh, dyed paper, which is some stamp down here so more journaling can be done. Or like another little photo could be added in here with a little note. And that just pops back in there. And then here, I don't remember what the prompt was. We have this little magnetic closure and it opens up with this little like altered shrine space. I think the prompt was witch's brew. Um, and then we have our little cauldron, which I painted in here and I stamped these bottles out and painted and the cauldron is actually also embossed. So there, there's like some raised edges here, if you can see that. And then there's like some smoke coming out of it and it's um, in this pearlescent green. So it looks white when you first look at it, but when it catches the light, it's this really cool, like spooky um, green color and that just snaps shut. And then there is actually a little pocket back here that just holds a tag, says 1810. And you can just journal on the back here. Journal on the front too, or pop a cool like witchy recipe or something in there. I don't know. <laughs> it's not my book, so <laughs> do what you want. I don't know why I always try to tell you guys what to put in your books. I just want you to have some ideas in case you don't know <laughs> what you want to put on here. And then we have this little like stitched and collaged in um like little forest scene. So there's some stenciling here in the background of some leaves, and then there is some uh embossing this is done in lost shadow which is a very 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 light gray color so it's almost clear almost completely translucent but we have some like little magic-y wispies in here a little haunting a haunting the woods little snippet and then there is um some actual flakes of mica mixed into the um crypt paste i use the tim holtz crypt crypt paste um to add some more texture here so there's just a really fun textural element on the back of this and then uh, we have the Book of Spells. It says Book of Spells. That was the prompt, I believe. And this unties. And then it just opens up. And then there's a little like little journal to add some fun stuff into. I'm not going to tell you what to add into it. But you can add whatever you want. It is your little journal. But it's a little little witchy book here with a little stack of like stuff off the witch's desk. And then there are some side-loading pockets here with two tags. And on the back, they're just uh, backed with like some regular uh, coffee dyed paper so that you can do whatever you want. <laughs> and then those tuck back in. Whee! And this one, the full moon one, has a cauldron. Because I think that's a good time to do like some witchy stuff. And then the new moon tag has a broom because that's the time that you would like usually cleanse and reset before you get back into doing your witchy things and then on the very last page there is this like um little like semi-circle cut out with the moon phases on it and then this little butterfly slides over so it's a little sliding tuck and then this is back so it can be journaled on and there is a little belly band here holding in our final tag very snug like snugly and securely and i feel like i may have glued this to something hold on a second <laughs> How did I, I, I glued this string into another thing. That is so silly. How did I do that? I may just have to cut it because I'm recording and I don't have time to finish like finding it. Oh, okay. We got it. We got it. Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't nearly as serious as I thought. So <laughs> we have this little collage here on the back with some washi tape and some stickers over this girl who's like, uh, sort of observing herself in the mirror. I, I like to imagine that this is her shadow self in the back and she's sort of working through her magic here. And then the back has, um, some more of this orange and like coffee dyed paper so that you can journal or do whatever you want <laughs> on the back. <laughs> And I love this kitty paper so much. It is so cute. And that is the last page of our little journal. Wait, see, now that I, like, messed up the string, I, I'm, like, afraid to mess up anything else. There it is. 
<laughs> and then there is a pocket back here, which when I ship this off, I'll tuck some extra goodies in here. Um, just so you guys can have some fun with that. But there is a little pocket back here to tuck some stuff in. And then like some more space that you could add like another photo or another whatever. I'm, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> this is the back of the book. I need to sign it. I totally forgot to do that. But yeah, that's the entirety of our Season of the Witch little journal. And I hope that you guys really like this. I love this. This challenge was so fun. And this book is just so so fun like it's a, a visual feast it's a textural feast and I really just enjoyed making it and it's really cute and um like I said uh, if you were looking for the full tutorial I did a quick tutorial so if you want a quick tutorial I have one out already I will do a, a longer format a slowed down version uh, pretty soon here so that you guys can see how to make one of these for yourselves too if you're interested um, but that's gonna be it for me for right now I am gonna go jump back into finishing my makes for Povember um, because I'm very excited about that and I would like to make some more um, and yeah that that's gonna be it for me right now guys I appreciate your faces thanks for hanging out on my channel and I will catch you guys all on the next one until then happy crafting guys bye